to get up here. This is a good place because you only have one space that is blocked and that would be the place behind you. Now you put on your max repel. You should have at least 300 but I have 500 with me right now. Now I'm going to go register my poke radar. This is really useful and if you're chaining you should probably do it. Okay now you use the poke radar and you should go into a shaking patch of grass. There are multiple ones it doesn't matter which one you go into. Oh uh, look Weasel, for crazy weasel. Now all you have to do is either capture the Pokemon or just or just faint it to um, continue. If you run away, you'll break the chain. Only run away if it's the Pokemon you don't want. Okay, so we battle, and now we go into the patch that we want to. However, I don't like this combination, so I reset the Poke Radar. You want to run into a chain. If you want to continue the chain, the most likely ones you, patches of grass you can use are ones that are far away from you and are the same kind of patch. And sometimes you just tumble into the wrong spot like I did here. Now this is what chaining basically looks like. This is actually two separate chains. Um, you might notice a little break in the video. Um, chaining is very boring, as you might have noticed and it takes forever but it's good for EV training <coughs> because you fight the same Pokemon over and over and over and over and over which is boring yet it, it's good for you now you want to know something kinda useful this is really useful when your chain continues the Pokemon icon on the bottom will fade out with the screen However, if the Pokemon change breaks, it will disappear before the screen fades out, like that. Now, a long time later... Yep, we're at 40 Buizels. Now we're just running around, continuing our chain. We're not building on our chain, we're just resetting the Poke Radar and adding on re Max Repels. This clip is over 4 minutes long, but this process actually took me 30 minutes to run into my Buizel. And as you might have noticed, I actually ended up moving to a different patch because this patch just kept on pissing me off because it was so annoying. And I'm just basically doing the same thing. It will come out of nowhere. La 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 da 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 da. I'm playing my game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh oh my gosh! Shiny boys a shiny will appear in a grass that has two glowing spears. This is the battle with a shiny I had. Meh. I don't know why, but it seems like shinies have a lower catch rate than regular Pokemon of the same species. I'm not actually sure of this, but it definitely seems like it. Because every time I tried to catch a shiny, with the exception of the Cricutot, it was very difficult to catch. This might be just the species problem, but, you know, I don't know what it is. Um, <clears throat> Weasel is usually not that hard to catch. Just keep on chunking those uh, Pokeballs at it, and you should eventually catch it. That's why you should have lots of Pokeballs with you. Or, in this case, I'm using a bunch of Master Balls. I have 63 Master Balls with me. And it just keeps on breaking out of them. <coughs> As you notice, he's sparkly. That's the reason why they call him Shiny Pokemon, because they sparkle. And I uh, finally caught him. About time. Okay, now I'm going to check out his stats. Okay, whatever. Check out the star and the red um, Pokemon number. It's a bashful nature, whatever. It's stats or whatever. <laughs> and the only real difference between two weasels is really that the color is different. It, I have a few other shinies. I'm not trading. Do not ask me for my friend code. These are my other shinies. Look at them, they're so pretty. 